The sun radiates massive amounts of energy every day, which we can harvest and use here on Earth. Humans have utilized solar energy for centuries. This is evident in the architecture of ancient buildings such as the Pantheon in Rome, which features an oculus that lets sunlight in, providing light to the entire building. Direct conversion of solar energy is being used in many parts of the world to heat water, disinfect water, and provide energy. There are special water bottles that can be filled with dirty water and left in the sun to disinfect the water. In the lab, you probably noticed that the materials you put in the sunlight started to absorb heat. Solar panels are specifically designed to convert sunlight into electricity. This electricity can power a water heater or provide energy to a home. Some materials in the lab reflected the sunlight. Solar power plants have a large field of mirrors that focus and concentrate sunlight into a central tower. The central tower receives extremely concentrated sunlight that can be used to heat water and create very high temperature steam. This steam powers turbines that generate electricity on a very large scale. So what happens if the sun isn't shining? Most solar panels also charge batteries so that the energy can be stored for future use. Now that you've learned a number of ways that we can harness solar energy, let's take a look at a few content statements. Solar energy can be converted into electrical energy given the right apparatus. Solar energy can be used to heat water, disinfect water, and provide energy. Fun fact, the Earth absorbs approximately 3,850,000 exajoules a year of solar energy. If we were able to harness 0.014% of that solar energy, we would be able to provide energy for the entire world for one year. Thank you for watching.